What's up guys, this is I, Tussamas here, bringing you a second Wi-Fi battle here on Friday night. This is a UU battle against Takataka. Taka. Uh, not sure the remaining, you know, num not sure the remainder of his username, but it's definitely Takataka527, Taka I think? Either way, this is against it in a UU battle. So, yeah, this happened on my stream last week, and he is bringing Rotom Heat. Reuniclus, Blastoise, Chestnut, Hydreigon, and Bronzong. I myself am bringing Galvantula, Dawnfan, Darmanitan, Blastoise, Magneton, and Honchkrow. So, let's see how this battle all plays out. And I immediately knew from the start that um, his room heat is going to be a big pain. It's going to be a big pain unless I can, you know, preserve Blastoise and Darmanitan. So, I do need to keep that in mind when going to this battle. So, let's begin with this battle. I am going to open up my Galvantula. He is going to open up with his Rotom Heat. And, yeah, I'm, I want to get some sneaky web off here. And I believe I forget to focus dash. Which is kind of unfortunate. I forgot to take my Focus Stash off of my Ariados from my Aryu battle. So yeah, it's really bad. Fortunately, it does not go for an overheat, and he does send in Taco Bell. So we're good on that. We're good on that. So we got the sticky web up to slow down his last place. So, yeah, it didn't really serve much of a purpose in this battle. But hey, I'm gonna switch Galvantula out and go into Magneton with the Magnet Pull. No HP Fire, unfortunately. I don't like HP Fire in UU. So, yeah, he is going to go for Protect to scout why I would bring out a Magneton against him, but I do go for the Magnet Rise in case of some strange reason, his Bronzong does carry the Earthquake. So I'm going to go for a couple of Thunderbolts, hopefully, and he does about 30% give or take. He goes for the Gyro Ball, not going to do that much, his Magneton does time for Resistance. And again, a couple more Thunderbolts, and he's probably going to go for Protect just to get that Leftovers recovery. He didn't send up, set up a Light Screen or Reflect yet, so that's pretty good to me. So yeah, Brian Tung does get healed with the Leftovers, and going to go right for that Thunderbolt again. And he does go for the Gyro Ball once again on Magneton, so we do know his moves are Protect and Gyro Ball so far. So, yeah, he's gonna heal leftovers. And I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt again, because the guy can't pull away due to Magnet Pull. He goes for another Gyro Ball. Uh, kind of surprised he didn't have Light Speed or Reflect on this, but hey, it is what it is. So, yeah. I am gonna finish this off with a Thunderbolt. And that will be the end of Bronze Dawn. So Bronzong is knocked out, and here comes a 30 minutes, the Rotom Heat, which, yeah, so it does go for the Volt Switch. I was ready to stack off Magneton, so that's why I kept it in there. I didn't want to get that free switch in, but he does send his Rotom Heat back if he has no other choice. Then he goes in the Triforce, the Hydreigon, and I do go for a Thunderbolt. Really hoping for that paralysis, but I do not get it, unfortunately. So he does go for a dark pulse. More likely, not going to. Well, does take on, take out Magneton. All right, so I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, here comes Hunch Pro, and I for life of me can't use this thing. But yeah, he does go. He does withdraw. She probably should have saw that coming, but instead, I did go for a uh, superpower. Yeah, I do go for a superpower here, because either way, we got at least a decent hit. Rotom Heat does not take that superpower well at all. And I should have went for Pursuit, but I really didn't want to risk him seeing through that. So I did go for Sucker Punch. Unfortunately, Sucker Punch will not connect on that Blastoise. Blastoise does get tangled in the Sticky Web, and it does fail. So I'm going to switch Haunch Pro out. And I am going to go right into my own Blastoise, which is going to be my Mega. It does take some rock damage. 
And he's in a mega wall, so it's basically gonna be mega blast versus mega blast twist. So Bowser the Mega Blast Twist is out. And does go for assault on my blast twist. And uh, he does get the burn. So how about that? He does get the burn. I'm gonna go for my mega evolution. As he pushes his blast twist out. It goes into Bad Fur Day the chest guard. Which is, which is kind of a sticky weapon, so yeah. So yeah, I do get the Mega Evolution off on my own Blast Toy. And I do go for the Rapid Spin to get his self off there, because I know that that's going to be a pain in the butt, and I really want to keep, you know, Darmanitan as healthy as possible. So yeah, just not get healed leftovers, obviously back to Blaze Street, because Rapid Spin did jack shit to Chestnut. And I'm going to switch Blast Toys out, not really sure what my thought was, probably should have just stacked it off. And going to Galvantula. So here's Galvantula right back in here. He does go for the Leech Seat, unfortunately. So he's going to obviously sap away some of my health. Yeah, I wish I did have Ice Beam on that Blast Toys, but nonetheless. I do switch Galvantula out, don't want Galvantula to keep things seated. Gonna go right into Haunch Pro, and I believe Haunch Pro will take a seed bomb. Yeah, he does take a seed bomb, which is resisted, so it's all good. Uh, he's gonna go for a spiky shield. I really had no alternative but try to attack, cause yeah. So Brave Bird obviously doesn't do much. I mean, doesn't do anything because you know, it is spiky shielded. So yeah. Anyways, here comes Jelly Baby the Reuniclus. Which is going to get caught in a sticky web, and it's not going to like this Brave Bird I go for. So here's Hunch Crow's Brave Bird. It's going to hit that Venus pretty hard, about over 50%. Life Orb damage and the recoil from Brave Bird will obviously take out Hunch Crow. It's unfortunate, I know, but shit happens, right? I'm going to go right into my Galvantula, I think I go for a Bug Buzz here, not entirely sure. Yeah, I do go for a Bug Buzz, which should finish off that Reno Plus. So, yeah, Bug Buzz does take out Reno Plus, and that's a, de that's a dead Reno Re Re Plus. Here comes 30 minutes, the Rotom Heat, and I am just going to stack off the, I'm just going to stack off my Galvantula. So Galvantula does faint, and I do go into target eyes the Darmanitan. He does go for overheat on Darmanitan, just basically stacking off the Rotom Heat. Does nothing really, nothing really right home about. But I do go for Flare Blitz, I'm not sure why I went for Flare Blitz, I probably should have went for Super Power. I really don't know what I was thinking, but Rotom Heat is down for the count. Take some recoil damage. And out comes Bowser the Blastoise. It is in the sticky web. Gonna switch target eyes out, not ready for it to go out yet. I'm gonna go right into my own Blastoise. Which is shiny. Here it is, but that's not even relevant. So he builds a double switch here. He predicts that switch nice. It goes into Triforce, the Hydreigon. And I'm pretty sure that this range, my Blastoise won't be able to survive. So he's going to Dark Pulse and finish off my Blastoise, and that's that for Blastoise. So I'm going to send right back out my Target Ice, Dormantan. Again, I don't know why I didn't go for Super Power. I really don't know what I was thinking at the time. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't go with Super Power, because it's chest not. So I do go for the Flare Blitz, and he's caught in the web, and this will definitely take out chest not. There's no chance of that thing surviving, so chest not is definitely down for the count. And all that's left, I believe, is his Dragon and his Blastoise. And let's be honest, I honestly have no chance of winning this, so, yeah. 
I mean, I'm a little bummed I didn't remember the focus dash when I got Lunchula. But, in hindsight, it wouldn't have mattered either way. So, Last Voice is definitely going to finish off my Darmanitan with his skull. There is absolutely no coming back from this. Good night, Darmanitan. Thank you for your effort. And in comes Dawn Fan. Now, Dawn Fan is, strangely enough, not going to outspeed a minus one Last Voice. So that really does suck for you. If it did, actually, I would have won this. I really would have won. But Dawnfang's gonna go right to the Earthquake. It is going to finish off Blastoise. And all that's left is the Hydreigon. Again, I'm, I was hoping for a critical hit at this point. But if Dawnfang did outspeed Blastoise, I would have won. I, be I believe so, anyway. So the two Ice Shards would have probably took out that stuff. The Hydreigon. But sadly, it was not meant to be. It was a good battle, though. Very good job, Takataka. Taka. Thank you so much for the battle. Thank you guys for watching this Yu Yu battle. So, yeah. Really, again, once again, really wishing uh, Blast Place was out of bed, but hey, shit happens. But thank you guys for watching this Wi Fi battle. I'll see you guys next time for another Wi Fi battle, a Pokemon White episode, or a live stream. Depends on what I feel up to doing. So yeah, have a great night everyone.